you acknowledge there's the camera over there. There you go. <laughs> there's your release. <laughs> So, what's on your mind? How do you forget an ex-girlfriend? Well, you know the easiest way. Beer. <laughs> I wasn't thinking that. I was thinking another I, woman. Another woman ah, right away. But yes. is that the best way? No. 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 Well, it's I, not nice to the other woman. Well, it's, it's not nice to the woman that is second. You know? Yeah. Uh -huh. The one that you get as a brand new. The Mexicans, they have a saying that you can remove a nail with another nail. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Similar, isn't it? <laughs> well, let's see. That, that's probably one of the hardest things to do in life, I think there is. Mm -hmm. And you will be scarred by it, and you'll be telling grandchildren about that, I'm sure. Yeah, I... she has red hair. It might be a big scar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how recently was this? Oh, last year. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I got an and you mail still... from her. You oh, and you so you get a little contact with her, a little bit, and maybe it needs to be more of like a cold turkey thing. Cold turkey because little bits of emails and phone calls well, could no draw it calls, out. Yeah. No, okay, okay, yeah. but it gives you a little hope possibly with the contact. Well, I know from what I heard from her, I'm give pretty much, I think it's probably smartest to give up hope. Another woman? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, well, I've been like jealous or I don't know what about my dad that I do really bad stuff because like sometimes when I go like to his house, uh -huh. he got like stuff of like woman things and I like yes. my mind, I just think like they're full of that woman. Right. So what I just like, I, the shampoos and like things like that, I just throw them into the sink and or things You like want to get rid of it, don't you? Because yeah. you want it to be your mom's things. Yeah, like instead of this other woman. Yeah, and then I like I have noticed like that my mom she's like more sad and like oh sure yeah like that that's and, like, normal and like she doesn't has like no more patience yeah like, she gets angry easily yeah yeah and like I wanted advice like right so she gets probably mad at you because her yeah. temper is short. Yeah. yeah, I can understand that. All those are very normal feelings that happen when a divorce is coming. Um, but that's that's something that you can't stop. The divorce is beyond your control. You know, it's between your two parents. Yeah. Um, and I think um, it's hard as a child, but you're going to need to show your mom some real patience when she gets angry. Because when you get older, you're going to learn that this is probably the hardest time of her life ever. Because she feels lost and rejected. And um, there's nothing worse than that. Yeah, so just show your mom a lot of patience and let your dad go in the direction he's going. Because as a child, you can't stop him. Okay. You know? And this, this will be a sad time for you. But um, I think um, that you can still stay close to your dad yeah. and to your mom no matter where they go. You know, he starts living in another place and your mom lives separate. Yeah, we live like that. You'll go back and forth between the two and lots and lots of families exist that way. Lots. So um, I think you just need to think of adapting to it, changing your life. And although you might not want to be nice to the new woman, um, I don't know her. Like, you know, she she isn't responsible for the re the divorce as it comes, right? She had nothing to do with it. Your father did, so you can't blame her for anything bad. But um, she's not your mother. You just you can treat her as possibly a future friend. And we all need friends. Yeah. yeah. And your mom in the next year is going to need a lot of love from you, even though she's angry and maybe yelling at you because she's so sad. Yeah. So you're going to need to be strong for her. Okay? And that'll help her adjust. So I do feel for you. This is a hard situation to be mm -hmm. in. And you'll remember it for the rest of your life mm -hmm. because this is so hard. Yeah. Yeah, so that's my advice to you, Jocelyn. I hope things work out. Okay, thanks. Okay, thanks for stopping by. Thanks. You're going to get out of it, I mean, if you're sitting here. You know what advice. it is? It's uh, our, our culture. 
uh, yeah. there's there's we're becoming so isolated as individuals uh -huh, yeah. that it's hard we can come these isolated points where we don't exchange information or talk it's basically a platform when they sit down they ask me for advice they realize basically it's just a platform to have conversation as if I was having a picnic and then sit down basically you know that's what it ends up being it's just a uh, a platform for dialogue, conversation. Because I'm not an expert and I couldn't give advice on uh, expert level. I mean, maybe education because I'm an educator, you know. Mm -hmm. I work at the Art Institute in yeah. San Diego. But uh, in terms of advice, you know, people ask me, well, where can I find a ice cream taco? Or how do I make one? Or right. it just is a variation on the advice, basically. Okay. Right. All right, well, it's totally it's, it's totally non-threatening. I mean, I've got if you want to see the video, you can see it totally. What's a video like? You want to look at for? it? Museum. It's there. We walk all the way down to the end and it's on your right. Thank you. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I take Any my students museum? to that. You know how many museums there are? Oh yeah, I take my students on field yeah. trips here all the time. I know where all the places are. Um yeah. I don't, I don't have the film commission's phone number, but you can get it. Do you have access to the internet? <coughs> I'll check it out. It's San Diego check Film it out. Commission. Uh, can we just like set and up and do another 15 minutes? They're, or... they're a liaison, so yeah. they're the ones that do the work for you to get the permits oh, okay. and get everything right. legitimate. You know, right. to be now, able to do this let me ask you this. We have designated <laughs> areas for, for entertainers. So right, if you right. happen to be taken up those areas, then they're going to think that there's somebody here. That's We've already not... gotten a complaint. Have we? Yeah. They, okay, I didn't hear The it. regular entertainer can't come here because you're here now. Oh, okay. And All they right. have a permit. Is this a public here? space or is it private? It's a public park, okay. but they have designated spaces that are permitted. Where would be a place where I wouldn't interfere with somebody's commerce? In terms of them, where would be a place that I wouldn't interfere with? I mean, if you want to be a volunteer to supply information to the public, then yeah. you'll want to check at the visitor center, and okay. they can probably sign if they have, you know, if they need. No, 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 I wouldn't want to do that. I want to do the Well, because that's the what they're, they're here for, is for information for the public. We're here as, as stewards yeah. of the public to help them with that. So I don't know. I mean, I'm trying to, like, get down to what exactly you're looking for and you're videotaping people. Okay. I'm not quite sure. Well, let me let me try to explain to you best I can. Uh, I do public art in the, base, in the context of uh, social interventions. Uh, this particular piece is to create this conversations with people. Like explain what you mean by that. Peace is like an art piece, you know, like Where's your art piece? This table, this book, my okay. exchange with the people. Uh, it's performance art. Performance okay. art in the context of uh, back in the 80s there was the, there was a movement called the Fluxus movement. And it was a it was, the intent of that was to remove the artists away from object making and instead making creations or situations with people where they exchange things. Well, based on what you're saying, it sounds like you, you would need to follow the same rules and procedures as the other folks that, that go through this, and that would be the entertainment program. The entertainment program, okay. Yeah, because they all have permits. Right, go right. The process. Okay. And, and if you're calling this art, that, that's, that's fine. That's not okay. the issue. Okay. The issue is whether or not you, you're following the procedures properly. And if you feel that you belong here, then all you gotta do is get a free permit. Oh, yeah. And so if you have questions about what the permit involves, um, all you need to do is contact, uh, you need to go on the website, which has the rules and regulations okay. on, on, on there, right? Yeah, the entertainer program is on the website mm -hmm. as well. Rules and regulations. Mm -hmm. um, and if you have any questions that go beyond that, you can talk to our senior ranger or you can continue with us, but you kind of need to follow the rules and regulations that the others have to follow. Okay. That's all we're asking. Oh, okay, and, and okay. Compliance. When it comes to videotaping, then that's where the film comes from. Uh, yeah. Where are all the festivals? Did you go to the Art Institute? You look so familiar to me. Do I? Yeah. Uh, I've seen you before somewhere. <laughs> so do you want us to just leave yeah, like the yeah, stage? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. especially when we got a group.